Welcome back YouTube, this is Two Point Chill. If you guys are new here, welcome. Consider subscribing as we are growing pretty quick and I would love to have you guys along. But anyways guys, today I figured we could jump into Seal Land, maybe do a little bit of progress. It's been a while um, since we've featured any Seal Land on the main account, but uh, also it's been a while and uh, we now have a 10 star Russell, and I was just kind of thinking, you know, throw these, you know, different heroes in there. Gurk can do holy damage, Michelle can revive. So, between the two of them, could be a little interesting. And I was also thinking, why not try super tanky? Because, I mean, Ada can heal like crazy, and, um, you know, Tara just overall his AoE damage is phenomenal, so like, you know, just keeping him in, keeping him alive might be a little bit better than, uh, you know, anything outside of that. Also, we did not throw Michelle in there. I don't know who was in slot one. Um, this, this is a, a little bit sad, but, um, I was, I was testing a little bit, and I noticed that 10 star Russell is still ridiculous. Like, honestly, I see how Having an E5 Russell can clear this pretty easy. But, uh, actually, as, as bad as that looked, initially, we might kill him still. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Um, again, that's why Ada's just amazing. But, uh, look at that. Russell kind of keeping up with both of the E5s, which is ridiculous. Um, we threw Faithblade in there. Alright, interesting. Um, we might, might be able to do 15... I kind of doubt it, and I might want to, you know, start building a uh, Bell Rain to 9 star, because I know she would definitely help, um, you know, just extra healing, extra attack, speed, all that jazz, um, you know, just all of her boosts could definitely help, but um, I, again, I, I feel like Michelle just taking extra hits is going to be pretty beneficial, I mean, look at this, this... So far, ah, okay, so the big dude can nuke us, good to know. Um, maybe we could build Russell a little bit different. Right now he's got reduced damage on, but maybe we could just throw him in, um, just ready to go round one with an active. <coughs> Still though, Ada's heal? Ah, give me two seconds. Alright, so anyways, but... Ada can definitely go off, and I'm thinking, without Russell, what was the best way to do this? Because again, I never really looked at these, um, but again, double Ada probably makes a little bit of sense. You probably need Bell Rain, um, you know, but again, Tar is useful, but he's super inconsistent. Um, again, I would say Michelle's probably help as well. Just taking extra hits, they're probably the best fodder. Um, but, I don't know, this light seems like one of the hardest places to push. Not only, you know, is it super hard to actually get light heroes, but look at the, the way that Sealand is set up. I mean, I would say it's between this and probably Abyss, but again, there's certain heroes that can just run Abyss and make it super easy. So, maybe that's why they made it hard, but, um... You know, Russell himself kind of nukes, and I've seen little pictures of that. Uh, but, you know, outside of getting an E5 Russell active, just nuking everyone, I don't really know what the easiest way to do this is. But, you know, the, the point is, A, we're kind of we're kind of building things in the background. I know, you know, you're probably like, yo, it's been how long since Russ came out? I mean, I get that. Also, did that dude just energy drain us? I might have, I might have been a little bit confused, but, um, um, yeah, basically, I don't know. This account, there's so many projects, there's so much stuff going on, and mostly I'm saving right now, so it's super, super hard to, like, dive in, actually, and kind of make the decision to feed off this guy or that guy or regress this guy um but i guess there was a little quick snapshot of what we're working with um here we go perfect this might 
might not help, you know, but also it might make it a lot easier. Um, let's see, he gets reduced damage whenever he's up in the air, so in a way, he's mostly just losing out on HP, really? Um, you know, but we'll see, we'll see right here. Still, he, he does look, he, like, looks-wise, probably one of my favorite heroes. Let's see. Again, it does pretty decent. Um, I could see Double Rust literally just winning Sea Land, like, immediately. Um, but again, you know, between every little combo piece that we got, this is looking a lot better. Oh, uh, okay, I don't think Tara can do this close but nah no nope nope so anyways that is a lot closer that is so much closer um if ada could live for just just a hair longer you know that would be awesome um also ada is rocking spear destiny i believe so nothing special should we throw a gurk in there again does it help that much probably not but <coughs> you never really know you never really know but um yeah, I don't know. How is your guys' day going? How is your idol heroes going? I just saw the leaks for the mid-autumn um, festival, I think that's what it's called. And it sounds pretty neat. Um, imps next week, and then heroic summons the week after? Not too bad. Although, for the most part, I'm very curious how they're going to tie those two together. In the sense that, like, you know... Um, it's a two-week event for the mid-autumn, so it's like, how are they going to combine those together? What are the resources going to be? And normally, there's a lot of high spenders on imps, and there's normally high spenders for, um, heroic summons. You know, like, not during Chinese New Year, Christmas, anniversary. So, are you going to have to spend a ton to, like, win these artifacts and heroes and this and that? And if that's the case, then that's really disappointing. Um, you know, just because, like, overall, I don't want to have to max out both events. And, I don't know, I wonder, I just wonder how that's going to look. So I'm pretty excited, and I just hope that they do it very well. Um, our luck is slowly, slowly being horrible, like, honestly. Uh, again, Ada's so tanky, but this dude crits with his active... And she's done immediately. Um, I think... How, how many attacks do we have? Three. We, we might as well push it. Um, but, I don't know. Definitely, definitely. If I get Russ higher, it'll be a lot easier. And I have two 10-star food in the bag right now. Um, I'm just waiting for Fusion, or the, I guess the monthly event, to cycle over. Uh, but, you know, outside of that... We need one 10 star and then maybe two 9 stars. And uh, we're getting one 9 star from the voyage. So basically, we're we're really close to getting him finally E5. Um, again, mostly I'm just kind of worrying about other places. And it you know probably wasn't the best idea because Russell is a powerhouse. He's amazing basically everywhere. Guild War can nuke teams down. Um, Sealand... I'm assuming he could probably beat most of it by himself, so that is going to be super interesting. You know, at least nuke-wise, like, he, he can probably get you to a decent, decent chunk. Um, outside of that, I mean, you know, Aspen Dungeon, dude is amazing. So, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And I'm thinking with Gurk, maybe we can get a little extra damage, like, overall, instead of just one nuke from Asmo. And even, you know, Asmo's nuke doesn't really help at 6-star. Ooh, Russ is still alive. Come on, come on, just take as many people out as you can. Eh, this is not looking too bad. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, ooh, is this it? I don't know. No, okay, that was super close, that was super close. So, I'm pretty sure it's doable. Um, maybe gearing up, you know, Gurk and all them is the way to go, uh, but still, I don't know, that's pretty interesting, we can always test this later, but I'll probably wait till he's like E2, E3, something like that, so anyways guys, 
make sure to consider subscribing and feel free to join the discord link is in the description i hope you guys all have a fantastic day anyways guys my name is two point show and i really genuinely hope you guys are having a swell day really it's 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 gonna be awesome and i'm super excited for the update um although on the off chance i don't think we're going to win this but it yeah yeah nah so anyways guys that is going to wrap everything up and as always guys i hope to see you all in the next video peace